Welcome everyone to a new GeoSense Challenge. Part three of On Top of Blue Mountain, hiking the Appalachian Trail. I did the last two episodes, two caches solo. Now the muggle is with. Uh, we just came over the hard part here, all these rocks and everything behind us. And now we're gonna make our way. We have about almost a mile to go to get to ground zero. We'll show you some of the trail and then we'll see you there. Yeah, we did the worst parts behind us. Hopefully. Well, folks, happened again. There was another video that I did where uh, I couldn't climb. Well, again, this is what I ran into. Walked, uh, walked about almost a mile down the Appalachian Trail. Had to leave the trail. I knew there was going to be uh, some rocks you had to go up, but I never thought it was going to be this. I mean, this is just straight up climbing. Now, Rob the Billy Goat, he made it. He made it up. He made the fine. He signed it. So it's all good. Um, it's just that I couldn't. I, I got about halfway up. Okay, back from the battery dying. Right here is where I climbed to, okay? Came all the way up through here, got up to there, and then my body froze, I panicked, couldn't go any further. Why? Because going up here is straight up almost. So I got here, panicked, it took, it took a while for me to get back down. Now the muggle made it all the way up through here, he got to the top, he got the cache. He went over here to the lookout rock, that's right about here, and he climbed down the face of it, because he's a billy goat. And he climbed down, and he made his way back. He's on the Appalachian Trail, and that's where I'm going to meet him again. So now behind me, I'm going to make my way down off of these rocks. See, I can get through here. Um, don't like it, but I can do it. So I'm going to meet him up. I'm going to meet back with him at the Appalachian Trail. And then we're going to go somewhere else, and we're going to bring you today's challenge. Unfortunately, it couldn't be this one at the top at the lookout. Here's a look at ground zero. There's a look at the muggle standing at ground zero. The book bag right here is where the GPS took me. We found this spice container. Nothing but a log inside. Camo tape container. Today, we found, for your challenge, a traditional, small, two difficulty, three terrain, and now it is time to show you your three walk-up locations. And then we'll eliminate. Location number one. Come right over here to the rock. Look down right here. Move some leaves and find yourself a spice container. Could location one be the correct geocache location? Location number two, from the book bag. Walk right over here to the stump. Come right over to this area. Move this out of the way, and there's your spice container. Could location number two be the correct geocache location? Okay, location number three. Again, from ground zero. Walk on over to this tree base. And right here, at the base of the tree, move this, and right in the root, you have yourself your spice container. Mm. Could location number three be the correct geocache location? Elimination time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time. 
this spice container in my hand, did we find it in one, two, three, or is it in none of them? That is your conundrum for today. Are you ready to play the GeoSense Challenge? Well, let's just take zero and get rid of it right now. Boom, gone. It's in one of these. Let's just say it was a lot easier without 18 inches of snow. Yes. <laughs> if you remember back a few episodes when we were walking the lake that was frozen, while we were waiting for PA Fireman 3 to show up, because he was making a drive when we were already here. We tried for this. And if you remember, we dug that stump out over there. Well, we just had to come down a little lower. And now with a little bit better weather, not, not, not so much the, you know, the, the, the winter type skies, but with the summer type sky or spring sky, ground zero brought us down a little further. Instead of being on that side of the tree, it brought us down here. So now, with that being said, we need to get rid of one more. Three out? <laughs> you broke that. your stick! My stick! You broke your stick! I'll tell you what, <laughs> any of these locations would have been nearly impossible to find in the snow anyway. So. Yep. It don't matter. That's right. But now, did we have a hard time in the snow because it was in one? Or did we have a hard time because we didn't even see the stump over here in two? Hmm. Because it was covered with snow. Which one do you think was covered with snow that was hiding this that stopped us from finding it the first time? And just before I tell you, remember, go back and take the GeoSense Challenge for the month. What do you got to lose? Give away, give away, free stuff. Yeah. You... You have a chance of winning a container. Go back, watch the giveaway video, enter by the due date, and then you could be in the running for a geocache container. This year, one winner gets to pick their choice of three different type containers or tools, Ooh. like we had the one month where I gave away a tweezer set. So. Don't for, just don't forget about doing it. It's nothing different than what we're doing right now. It's the same thing. Go take it. Now, how would you do in a challenge? And how would you do for the giveaway? Well, that depends. Let's see. Did you pick one? Or did you pick two? See? If you would have picked one... You would have lost your chance at the giveaway. You wouldn't have won. Because it was over here in number two. But don't be afraid. Because on the giveaway, we do three geocaches. Not everybody gets all three correct. Sometimes no, they get none of them correct. Yeah, we had them where nobody got them right. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Somebody is always going to win. That's how we do it. There's always a winner, whether you get all three or none. Thanks for watching. We were actually able to bring you a challenge finally that I didn't have to chicken out on. And, uh. Avenger DNF? Yeah, and we got the Avenger DNF too. Wow, that's pretty freaking neat. You know, it's, it, 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 it's really weird and it really, uh. You're up on a mountain, you walk the Appalachian Trail, you leave the trail for a three and a half terrain. And I couldn't do it because I, I, I started climbing, I panicked. Then I come here for a three terrain, and it's an easy walk off the road. One man's three is another man's one. And yep. Half. Everybody does things differently in geocaching. And that's what I'm trying to showcase to you guys with these challenges. Well, it could have possibly been a three, two, because maybe he owns all these caches around this whole week. Yeah, I mean, it's part, of a, it's part of a trail, but you should rate each one as their own difficulty oh, in okay. terrain. Unless Even you, though you walk the whole trail, and that's still, I mean, right off the road. Right. I'm okay. going to put it back quick. Here we go. I'm going to hide it a little bit better. I've seen it pretty easy when I walked up. Put a few more sticks on it. 
So, uh, yeah, that's one thing that we're showcasing. One person's three could be way harder than another person's three and a half. So, uh, it is what it is in geocaching. But we had fun. It was a good adventure. Uh, the billy goat here was able to get up there and get it. This is the second time he had to bail me out. So, uh, but it was gotten. Log was signed. Um, I got to see pictures. Will I get up there one day? Maybe. Maybe I'll have to go back and avenge my DNF on it. Anyway, folks, this video is getting quite long with two different locations. We'll see you on the next video. What are we going to do in that video? I don't know because we're at a, the end of our day today. Yep, getting dark. So I'm not quite sure if I'm filming anything else the rest of the day. So stay tuned for the next episode, and we're probably going to be somewhere else. As always, happy trails, happy cashing, and go get a smile. Yeah, come up here to Lisa Lake. Check it out. Nice. See ya.